Hello everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Game of Thrones episode 2. Just got the game paused here because we're in the like middle of a transition to the, into the next scene. Um, looks like we're going to be playing as Garrett now, approaching the wall to do his time, or to live forever now as a member of the Night's Watch. So let's jump into this. Here's the wall. Garrett, I got his name right <laughs> in the last part, I kept thinking. Is his name Garrett? I wasn't 100% sure and it is Garrett. Garrett Tuttle. Alright, so we can look around now. And um, there's the elevator. Imagine approaching this place knowing that this is where you're going to be spending the rest of your life. Wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Um, Castle Black. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Recruits at the gate! Gonna start our training soon, I think. All right then. We're walking in. Here we go. Taking our horse with us. It's funny how no one's like escorting us here. Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. It's quite surprising how we're walking around so freely. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Who's in charge? I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We, uh, don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. You'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Well, you seem nice too, mate, so... You're contradicting yourself, no? Alright, let's go speak to Frostfinger. We've got to go up these stairs. He's got two fingers missing. Frostfinger. Did he lose it to Frostbite? Is that why he's got that name? I think it is. <clears throat> you recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? Um, I'd rather not say. A scribe from Iron Wrath. I'm Garrett Tuttle. Let's tell him who we are. I'm Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Iron Wrath. Garrett Tuttle of Iron Wrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then. We'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. This guy seems pretty alright. You know, he's like, you've got to get as much respect oh, as you can. Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Um, yeah, thanks for the advice. Yeah, we got to try and, like, get as much respect and respect them as much as we can. 
give ourselves as much of a good time as we can. So Malcolm caught a ship headed for. I heard they took him off a corpse cart, <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again, <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. I think White Hill was the guy who came in with Ramsay, wasn't it, and killed well, um, Ethan. So these guys are pretty like not not with us. They're, they're real dickheads, really. They're not our allies. Bring you some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Lines up. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did and you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. They're all jealous. They hate us because they ain't us. Dickheads. <laughs> we have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Um. Move aside, get out of my, move aside, soldier. Move aside, soldier. That's the nicest thing you can say to the guy. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. I like to start off nice. And I don't think you're gonna make me. He's not moving, is he? I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? I'm the lord of this house. I don't think these men will kill him because they're the same guys as him. I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Oh, he shits himself. He shits his pants. You see his face. <laughs> Go on then, my lord. I'll remember your face, mate. Don't you worry about that. When I'm back on my feet and I've got a sword in my hand. You'll know. Let's go. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like the guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick, my boy. Come join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. Good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We so I am Lord now. So soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole them. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. I will have order. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. 
Not anymore. Then find me one, Sir Ryland. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed, and our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. So I think our army is pretty small, and they probably just like ten men. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. A betrothed is coming to Ironrath. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'll secure a father's army, no matter what it takes. Very good, my lord. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. I'm gonna make a choice here, I think. I'm gonna starve them out. Let them go hungry. Hopefully yes, they'll leave. My lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Because if we're giving them... Drink. Maester, They'll stay, I think. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Alright, so this guy's making a really fast recovery, isn't he? He's got his head on. He's, just, he's probably he lost a lot of blood. Torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him, and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You have to be strong, Talia. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Alright. So I guess I'm going to transition now to Mira. Maybe get Marjorie to help us out. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Uh, we'll make a large donation. I hope to visit soon. You are in our thoughts. Uh, that one. The children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. Yay! I did good. I did good. And the seal. Here oh, don't are. mess this up. Be gentle. Oh, she's doing it herself. Okay, I thought we might have to do that. <laughs> do a quick time event of some oh. kind. Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favourite drinking companions. Someone's knocking on the door. Who's this? I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. 
How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. Yeah, Joffrey wasn't happy last time. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. So she's not helping us. Mira, we'll talk more later. Hey, last time we got here to help us, um, Joffrey, she had to ask Joffrey, and um, he pretty much roughed it up a little bit, cut the dress and all that. So, uh, is there anything else we can do to help? If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... Ah, uh, she's going to forge it. Okay, finished letter to Sir Maynard. That's this one. Um, forge a letter to Elena Glenmore. Oh, God. You know, this mirror, she hasn't really done a lot to help the family. I feel like this is her chance now to really do something. She may get caught. This might stab, kick her in the arse later on. So, oh, oh, do you know what? Let's just, go, but let's just YOLO, you know? <laughs> do it. Let's forge this letter. Dear Lady Elena, no, dearest Lady Elena. She took the seal with her. Hopefully a signature will do. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? That's going to look more, more suspicious if there's no seal on it. Oh, we're going to get caught. Can we, can we back out of this now? <laughs> Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Elena of House Glenmore. I've never heard of the Glenmores. Hmm, shit. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. I really hope this letter just goes through and doesn't really come back on us and Marjorie doesn't find out and, you know, shit happens. <laughs> Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting cold. First day on training, it looks like, for Garrod. They say it'll be a short order. Oi. Fuckhead. Who? You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Find another spot, fuck off, stand to the side. You can fuck off, can't I? I'm not moving. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? Nope. Don't care. <laughs> no. And I don't care. You should. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. Now why do you have it? I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You, fu you fuck potatoes? <laughs> you fuck potatoes? What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cotter. Cotter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. 
I've got something for your sister. Um, just leave him to it. All right, and something for you too. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Okay. Total. Who was it? What are you asking me for? Uh, it was my fault, not me. Not me. I don't want to blame anyone. You're looking at the wrong recruit, sir. So it was someone else then. Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. They didn't point the finger. I just said it wasn't me. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger, so we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all going to show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Jon Snow! I need a word. Go on, get started. We're going to be best buddies, me and Jon Snow. Best of luck, Tuttle. Thanks. Here we go. Again. Close up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains. Alright, there's some training going on now, it looks like. I have to do a little bit of a training montage. Um, Alright guys, we're going to end the part here, just because, you know, the start of a new scene. In about 20 minutes now, so um, we'll start the next part doing some training, it looks like, playing as Goward. So, thanks for watching. 